So, at the moment, we've got a couple of choices to make. We could go to the shrine right here. It's not that far away. Uh, or we could just continue on to Lake Colomo. We do got some rain to deal with, admittedly. Uh, so, you know what? We'll go to the shrine. We can do both today. I do kind of feel like I'm just running around aimlessly here. Um, but it's not that far. We're in the area. We are going to be going this way eventually. Um, but again, it, it's right there. Oh, there's a stable here too, that's why. Yeah, that explains it. Okay. Well, we can at least go down to the stable, check it out. There's Picango. Uh, you can talk to him if you want an idea as to where um, a memory is located, but I've got one that I know I'm going to be going to. Long ago. Traveler, tell me, have you seen a pure white horse anywhere? A long time back, my grandfather told me that he once saw the royal family's white horse grazing on Safula Hill. The thing is, just the other day, one of our customers said he saw a white horse on the hill recently. Could it be a relative of the royal family's white horse from my grandfather's day? Well, if you happen to see a white horse on your travels, do you think you could bring it back to me? Sure. Thank you. Please, if you find it, register it at the stable. Hmm. Beautiful pure white coat, no modeling. I hear it's very elusive, though. Alright. Royal White Stallion. Sounds like it'll be a bit of a hard catch, but I will seek it out later on. It's not going to be today. Uh, we have a reason to go to Safula Hill later on, which is why I'm kind of chilling on there right now. Rain! Rain! Yeah. Botrick. Ever since that earthquake, when the towers appeared, doesn't it seem like monsters roam in greater numbers? Sorry your voice changed midway through. I was still kind of feeling the old man's uh, dialect back there. That's a weird way to say that. Alright, we're gonna move on. <laughs> if you want to keep traveling, you do well to load up on weapons and gear so you can defend yourself. Hmm. Say, an entirely different topic. I've recently begun selling adventure gear as I travel. Doing work as a watchman certainly fills my soul, but not my pockets. Well, let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Oh, extra arrows. Yeah, in the rain, people will sell more stuff. Oh, we'll go ahead and stock up. I see beetles there, too, so we'll, uh... We'll meet back in a minute. Alright, so we bought all of Botrick's stock, and all of beetles as well. And you may be thinking, oh my god, you have so much money. You're right. Uh, so I ended up selling some of the elixirs that I had cooked up. Uh, and those were very expensive. A lot of the gems that we, uh... Ended up getting sold them as well. So we got about four of everything, two of the diamonds. Um, but I figure uh, while we're here, we're kind of low on food again. We got so many ingredients, so many monster parts, a bunch of hearty elixirs. Um, you know, elixirs are a good way to make some money. So I'm going to go ahead and cook some stuff and uh, we'll catch back in a minute. Okay, so the rain stopped, we've cooked some stuff. Not a ton, really. Um, there's a lot of stamina elixirs here, but as you can see, uh, they don't really restore that much. Um, a lot of hearty stuff. All the wizard uh, ingredients came out very, very well. Some speed up elixirs down here, too. Uh, so we're, we're doing pretty good on equipment. Uh, another thing I want to highlight is... Uh, from Botrick and Beetle, we bought so many arrows, as you can see. And they're still not going to last us that long, knowing how this game plays. Uh, besides that... Ha! What do you gotta say, dude? Trot. Hey, welcome. You sound tired. Uh, is that obvious? <sighs> I'm into horses. Okay go on. So I got a job with the Stable Association, which is great and all, but they dispatched me here in the middle of nowhere, which I can handle. Yeah. 
They have me working around the clock. I feel so hazy all the time. That sounds kind of rough. If only I could just eat some meat for energy, but the stable meals are vegetarian for the most part. Hmm. Ah, what I wouldn't do for some fresh cut, caught raw gourmet meat. Do I have any raw gourmet meat? Ooh. I don't know how fresh it is. We've probably had it for a while. Oh, that meaty aroma. Oh, God. It's already given off an odor? Uh, yeah, we do. I'm no freeloader, of course. I'll pay you well if you split it with me. Sure, take it. For real? Well, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll take one. How does a hundred rupees work for you? Sold. Thank you. I'm starting to feel better about this job. I'm gonna really work my artist. If you get a hold of any more raw gourmet meat, hook me up. Yeah, so you can sell meat to Trot. Um... Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, the shrine up there. Uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can make our way up the hill. Um, yeah. Man, recording today's episode has been kind of a challenge. I feel like my commentary game has been, you know, quite mid. Uh, additionally, there's been a lot of cuts that we've had to make. Um, I don't know how much on-screen footage we've actually got right now. But just to kind of, like, articulate things, um, I am almost at the two-hour mark of recording. Yeah. <laughs> Rota O Shrine. Um. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Passing of the gates. Okay. Um. What on earth? do we do here? I don't know, uh, so we'll take a look around, I guess. But yeah, as I was saying, we, uh, we are super deep into this recording session, and we haven't even done one full episode yet. I know. Um. Oh, I got the idea. I know exactly what we need to do. Okay. Let's go ahead, construct one of these. Now... Climb up here. Good, good. And... We've got access to this side now. Uh, I'm thinking... What we'll probably need to do... Ah, the bomb does not go through. Okay. So we'll probably need... to shoot you. Oh. We could have just done that? Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll throw the spear over there. Shoot you there. Swim on through. To the other side. Grab this. We'll toss it in there. And then, um... Yeah, now. Hit you. Ball's gonna go down. It's gonna open up something. That. Okay. So, I'll level this back out again. Now. Ah, that's gotta hurt, Link. Alright. So now, we need to go and find another way through, and I think I've got the idea here. Uh, as for what, though? This is a bit of a mystery now, isn't it? I guess not quite. Uh, so. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's no way we can throw up there. So we'll do that. <laughs> this shrine really is throwing me for a bit of a loop here. supposed to do Let's see. we can't keep cry on us up there okay oh there's this way are you kidding me that's it uh, <laughs> you can tell this recording session's been wearing on me a little bit um all right well link Let's shoot that. Grab the arrow. Grab the other arrows. There's one back there. I don't really care about it too much. Open you. And of course there's more. Alright. Chest. Gimme. What do we got in here? Feathered Edge. Okay. It's a nice looking sword, I'll give it that. I really like this one, actually. Now, uh, we need to make our way over there. And you may wonder, well, how on earth are we gonna do that? Uh, by falling. Landing our way up here. And then sure enough, we got the stairs. Alright, that should be the rest of the shrine. Um, so we're back roughly outside the Colosseum. And you can see all those uh, white birch trees over there, yeah? That's Lake Colomo. That's where we're going to be heading to. We got some ruins here, though. I wonder if it's a named location. If it is, there might be something here. Uh, let's see. Anything? Nothing. All right, well, that's fine. There were a lot of uh, small towns and settlements and all that right by Hyrule Castle. Uh, you'll find them all over the field. Uh-oh. Um, but yeah, it's kind of cool to show them off when they're here. Anyway, uh, yeah, you don't really see trees like this in Hyrule all that often. Birch trees are kind of cool. Um... You know, I've mentioned this before on, uh, you know, various social media accounts, but I, uh, I've lived my entire life in Michigan. I've gone out of the state a couple of times, but, um, so Birch is, like, a really, uh, kind of, like, historically important and cool thing here. Um, a lot of indigenous tribes, uh, would use Birch for, um, crafting, like, canoes and stuff like that, so. I remember back in, like, elementary school learning a little bit about it. Uh, but yeah. This right here is where we're going to be heading today. This is actually another memory location. So, uh, let's see. We'll go ahead and just kind of rotate gear out a little bit. And let's see if we can't recall anything today. From here, we'll make our way to Goron City. Then, we'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. However, it's apparent that we still have much more to learn. But to think, that divine beast was actually built by people. That means we should be able to understand how it works and how to use it to our advantage. These divine beasts... So much we don't know, but if we want to turn back Calamity Ganon, they're our best hope.
Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now, wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice resonates inside it. Can you hear it yet, hero? Another memory recalled. A really interesting one, too. Um, <clears throat> the thing is, I don't really want to talk too much about the memories until we get more of them so we can actually like, really piece the puzzle together of this whole story so far. Um, but, yeah. Um, once we have more, we'll really be able to talk about what exactly... A link and more in particular Zelda is going through with this whole little journey they're up to. Uh, anyway, we don't really have a whole lot left to do now uh, on our journey back to Hateno Village. So, uh, we're going to take a trip to the Dueling Peaks. I've got a long way to go in order to get there. Um, but we will catch back up on the mountain. See you soon. And here we are, the dueling peaks once again. The top of them is just shrouded, shrouded in fog and low clouds right now. It's really cool. And you can see uh, there's like a jungle all the way over there. That's going to be a lot later on, uh, but it's going to be really fun when we do end up going there. So, uh, climbing the dueling peaks is going to be quite a journey, admittedly. It's going to be a lot of ground to cover, and it's going to be pretty tough too. Uh, just from, like, an endurance perspective, which is why I figured waiting until now would be great. Uh, we have Revali's Gale whenever it charges up. That will help us kind of scale some of the tougher parts. Um, but, again, like a lot of areas in Breath of the Wild, you can go there whenever. Just so long as you've got the stamina to make it work, right? So. Up on this, uh, mountain here... <clears throat> going to be a bit of an interesting adventure because there are two shrines that we need to complete. Doesn't sound too hard, right? Uh, however, the big interesting part of it is that these two shrines are connected, actually. Uh, they have puzzles that are related to one another. So, um, it's... Honestly, I haven't done them in a while, and I'm not looking up the uh, answer to it, of course, but... It's going to be uh, a little bit tough to kind of show them off. So what I'll probably do is um, I'll probably go between them on my own, and then I'll just show off the puzzle um, solution and all that. Uh, so it looks like I'm just doing them one at a time, right? Uh, that way it's a bit easier to follow, you know, which one is uh, what. But yeah, um, additionally, however... I wonder if we're going to run and do it here. Yep. There is a stone talus right here on the mountain. And as you see, that's a luminous one, too. So, Link. Link. Let's go ahead and take a crack at this guy, shall we? Aww. I was hoping. Now, it's daytime, so we're not really going to get the whole luminous part here. But it's a Stone Talus Jr., as you can see, and it looks a little bit smaller than the other ones we fought before. That might just be me, um, but it doesn't look as big as a normal Stone Talus, right? I wish we had our hammer still. You know what? There, that's fine. Buy more time up here. And... Uh, what's our hardest hidden weapon? The Lionel Sword? Yeah. That's alright. Alright. Ooh. Okay. What's that? Flint? Oh. Uh-oh. Blink. Blink. Oh, it's a luminous stone. That makes a lot of sense, actually. That's flint. Okay. And bada bing, bada boom. There we go. I thought it'd be kind of fun to finish off in style. Ah, uh, 
Yeah, so... Got a diamond from that, from a junior. Okay. Alright, buddy. We'll happily take that. Uh, now. It's gonna be raining a little bit up here, as you can see. So that makes the climb a little harder. Um, but... Not bad. We got a good reward making it this far up. At least it replaces the diamond I sold. Um, let's see. Ooh. Entering a bit of cold territory now. So, I'm thinking about it. Um, let's go ahead and put on the snow quill headdress for a minute. Um, I don't think we'll need the climber's bandana up here. Uh, so we should be kind of okay on that regard. Alright, alright. Now, at this point, we are essentially at one of the two peaks of the mountain. That's kind of cool. Uh, yeah, there's the other one, and there's a shrine up there, too. There's one, and the Rivali's other. Gale is now ready. Oh, perfect timing, Rivali. All right. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead, fly our way over to here. And we were just high enough for a second that you could see the rain actually turn to snow for a brief, brief moment. Okay. So. Let's go show off this shrine. I believe it's Shivanir or Shivanath. Yeah, Shivanath. Okay. Shivanath. One of these times I'll get it right. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and solve this one. See you inside. So we've got twin memories here. The shrines atop these peaks share a connection. Their memory, the answer to the other's question. Commit to memory before you start, lest a failure you will depart. So, uh, by the time you're seeing this, uh, I have done nothing in these two shrines yet. I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, so let me give you my recommendation on how to solve this pretty clearly. I'm having a hard time getting my words out today. So, the pattern that you see down here you see the one all the way in the far right, one on the left. Uh, it's kind of like a 5, 1, 2, 4, uh, 2 kind of deal here. So, this, you replicate that in the other shrine, and vice versa. So, uh, let's go ahead and solve this one a minute, shall we? I'm going to go ahead and write this down, uh, and we'll catch back up in a moment. Okay. So, how do you solve this shrine? Well, we'll make it pretty easy. We're going to take this one all the way over here. And we're going to drop you right there. Now you, buddy, are going to go right over here in slot four. I'm actually going to grab you. Set you there. You, my friend, are going r -r -r right down here. And then this last one, well. Oh. My bad. This one's supposed to go right here. I was wondering what I got wrong for a minute. Is that not it? Hmm. Oh. Whoops. Buddy, buddy, come on. And there we go. Just misplacing the thing a couple of times. All right. That's fine. Uh, so, in doing that, 
What do I see? Well, I don't see any treasure in here. Which is quite strange. Hmm. Is there really no treasure in here? I don't know, we'll clear the shrine and then I'll go and find out. Okay, so, take a look here, Shivanath Shrine, okay, so there is a treasure chest in here still. You know what? No, I don't feel like going to find out whatever it is. Uh, so we're gonna go over here instead. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and look up what the actual treasure is in there, because I just don't want to go in again. I'm feeling... Oh, God, really? So I'm feeling quite lazy uh, having to do all this backtracking, and I don't really want to, you know... I don't want to lengthen this any more than it needs to be. <laughs> I could switch over to the climbing band now. But do I really want to? No. No, I don't want to. Um, so yeah, we'll just keep going up here. Link, I understand you're tired and you're very busy climbing, but what if you drink one of these? Yeah, okay. Keep climbing up the mountain. Give it a little sprint skis up here. And, of course, there's going to be a Korok puzzle in this area. All right, let's grab an apple. Set you there. Profit. Oh, you're a red fella. Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, thanks for the free apple. Uh, here's she veneer. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and check out what this shrine has in store. Okay. Once again, uh, these shrines of Top the Peaks share a connection. You understand the whole deal here. And uh, we addressed what the answer to this puzzle was going to be. So, what is it? Well, it's 51242, if you remember. So we toss you no toss you over here. That's right. Two. Two. And. No, 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 no. Come back, come back, come back. Alright. Are you a wink, a wink. There you go. She set it down in front of you that time. <laughs> yeah. Alright. That's it. That took a while. Um. So, back in here we go. Take our little wander up here. And there's no treasure, like, behind this little pedestal or anything, right? right? Yeah, now we're good. Alright, well, this is the Dueling Peak Shrines. Um. Yeah. Okay, we will see you later on. Alright, so I just realized that was actually a 29th shrine, so that's kind of cool. Uh, also, you can see the uh, mountaintops above Kakariko Village all the way from over here. You know, that's kind of far away. Um, Hateto Village is... Is it over this way? Yes. Yes, it is. And that would mean that the lab is, I think, right at the end of that little hill. Man, this is a big world. All right. Uh, but yeah, that means we can get... Um, I think it's going to be a heart piece, right? Yeah, well, not heart piece, heart container. Uh, so we'll be doing that. Um, there's probably a stone talus down there somewhere, but... Eh. 
I don't really feel like going after it. Um, where is that red beacon that I have? Change it to a stamp because I don't remember what it was pointing out. <laughs> All right. Um, so. Yeah, I don't know if I sound, like, tired or anything. I'm actually not sleepy. Uh, it's just that I'm ready to really dive into brand new stuff. And I'm excited to show you guys, uh, you know, the next main story arc that we're going to be doing. But obviously it's kind of taken a while to get there. Um, Hateno Village isn't too, too far away, though. So... Let's take some enduring stuff and uh, continue our little glide over there. We're making it pretty far. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a big old bird. How's it going, buddy? Bonk. Okay. Alright, alright. This is going to be uh, the last of the whole like backtracking arc we're doing right now. Um, and then down there, ooh, that's the stone ox. Um, it'll probably be waking up pretty soon, I'd imagine. Kind of foggy. Thankfully, it's not raining. Um, I would hate for it to start raining right now. Especially when we've got this little hill to climb right here. Good thing is, uh, we're back in warm weather. So, Link, you can put on some b -b -b better armor. Not bad. Uh, additionally... Revali's Gale is almost charged up, as he'll kindly let us know in a minute. Uh, so we can start flying again pretty soon, which, you know, that's kind of nice as well. So. Um. Let's see. We're making our way to the town. Walking fast. Um. Yeah. Oh, the lab is still so far away. Hey, Keese. Can't be bothered to deal with you right now, admittedly. I wonder, can we make it up here? Not quite. Oh, what is this? Is it going to be a luminous? No. There's an iron shroom, though. That's kind of nice. Oh, you're luminous. Okay. Alright, so I guess they were. They did kind of have that gray, like, tint to them. I don't feel like fighting you guys. I just want to keep moving. Let's see. There is yet another snowy mountain range over there. It's going to be a while before we head up there. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Hey, thank you, Rivali. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's gonna be really hard uh, filtering through all the stuff that's actually like worth showing off this episode. Oh, like that. <laughs> okay. Oh, all the thorns regrew over the tower? That was fast. Okay. We are finally back to Hateno Village. That took way, way longer than it needed to. You want to know how long? About two and a half hours. <laughs> That's how long all the backtracking was from Rito Village to here. Now, uh, it is going to be well worth it. Why? Well, let's stop in and say out of Proust first. The day is done. So, what can I do for you? Well, we're going to sell some stuff here. Uh, it's going to be a quick one, so I'm probably not going to cut this out. Just going to sell the extra diamond we got. And thought about it a little bit more. Let's get rid of all the luminous stone. Uh, that's going to be 560. Okay. Oh. Um, anything else that we want to get rid of? Um, ah. Sure, we'll sell one each of all the other gems, too. Uh, we shouldn't really need more than three. So, uh, what do we need all this money for? Well, a couple of things. First off, if you remember, we are kind of sort of thinking about buying a house. And we need money for that. So, uh, come morning, we're going to see if we can't do that. So let's go ahead and rest by the fire. 
Okay. Hey, look who it is. How's it going, oh, dude? It's Hudson. We know who he is already. What are you doing? I'm on a lookout. By the way. What? Are you going to buy that house? Yeah, I'm going to do it in the morning. You're pretty studly, aren't you? Huh? You'd be a great hire for the company. What's your name? I'm Link. Oh. Well, too bad. Can't hire you. What? Why? Because your name doesn't end in son. Son? The boss, Bolson, is a strict hiring rule. You have name ending in son. No exceptions. Is that legal? <laughs> I don't know. That's too bad. Builds team unity, he says. Oh, okay. Anyway. You have some stuff to do, right? Should get going, then. Actually, not really. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, take some time. We'll sit with you. Let you guys get started on your work for the day before we come on over and buy up that house. Kind of a long loading screen. I was talking through it, so I didn't want to cut it. Oh, and... Now it's raining. Okay. If we look away from the fire, is that going to put it at no? Hmm. Alright. Bolson! How's it going, dude? Um, keys, please. Hi. Hey. You rated over 30 wood bundles? Who are you? Now, I'll pay your price. Who can do? I'll grab them from you. We had like 50-something, I think. Yeah. All I needed to see, good faith would. You're obviously serious about this, and now I know it. So, as promised, I'll sell you the old house for the low price of 3,000 rupees. Once you got the money together, come grab me. Oh, we're ready now. Hi. Did you get three grand together? I'm all ready. Seriously? You're really going to give me 3,000 rupees? Like, with three zeros, you're not just posturing? Yeah, we'll show out. <laughs> no way. Talk about studly. I'll just take that off your hands. Thanks for the sweet investment. Spending so much money on anything at your age is... Oh, it's just so studly. Okay. There's a weapon mount in that house that never sold. Consider it a housewarming gift. Hope you get some use out of it. Mm. So, next job time, baby. What did I have lined up again? Oh. Yeah, that's what's next. I was going to set Hudson up a Kala's way to clear some land. Ooh. I'll have to talk with Hudson in a minute. Mm. Hi. Yeah, what are you, uh, what are you doing with the clearing land deal? Yep. Business expansion, you know? I'll probably have him head out soon. If you want to say anything to him, better catch him before he leaves. Well, before that, let's go and take a look at the house. It is kind of bare bones. We checked it out a little while ago. But nothing some good hard work can't fix, right? And sure enough, there's a weapon mount here. So, if you see a weapon you really like, or you don't want to use it right away, you can go ahead and display it, and it will keep here forever. That's kind of cool. So, let's talk to Hudson a minute. Yeah? What are you going to be up to, dude? We heard you got a job going on. Well, right now I'm taking a break. By the way, did you really buy that house? Yep. Impressive. You're just a pup. Uh, come again? Don't worry about it. Anyway. Uh, what? Looks like I've got to head out and leave this place soon. We know why, Link. I've been transferred. Yeah. But I heard, but Bolson Construction's planning on expanding big time. It's great. Yeah, big expansion. Where are you going to go? Zora's Domain is north of here. We're going north of that, though. Called the Akala region. Yeah, that's where we'll be heading soon, too. Yeah. Well, good luck. Okay, then. Well, no time like the present, right? Should be getting on my way. And if you'd like, you should come to the Akala region and say hello. Yeah, we'll be heading up there. Hmm? 
Hmm. Little piano tune. Right, from the ground up. That's going to be a very big quest. Oh. Hi. So, the both of us sort of hit a personal milestone, huh? Time to kick back and get leisurely, baby. Though, no, you look a bit judgmental for such a fine moment. You're looking at me like we should both keep working at it. <laughs> you didn't even have to say it. Oh, uh, I just bought a house and it's totally empty and depressing. Oh, sure, that's you to a T. I see it in your eyes. Yep, I was just like you about a lifetime ago, kid. So I'll tell you what. Let me help by taking care of furniture, or the exterior, or anything really, for 5,000 rupees. Actually, no, scratch that for you. Uh, let, let's keep it basic. Let's start at 100. Just cruise on by whenever you have the spending cash and we'll talk. Alright, we got a little over a thousand. Yeah, about 1.5. Let's see what we can get. Uh, let's start with house exterior. Um, sure, let's get a sign. It's not really our house until we say it, right? Oh. That'll be a hundred rupees. We're ready to pay up now. Alright, so... Uh, what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna show off what all the things are that we can get and then we'll just cut to having all of it set up because it's gonna take a little while to go through all the text boxes, right? So yeah mm -hmm. Time for some construction instruction Hi. Carson, we are on ah. Right on They're really into it, I guess. Pretty flawless, if I do say so myself. You should take a look. And sure enough, we got a same, we got a same, a sign with our name on it. I believe that if you translate this over, it actually says like, uh, like, it's something like House Link or whatever, Link's House, okay. Uh, but that, like, the thing that looks kind of like a T or an L, yeah, this part, like, right at the end, that is a link, um, translated. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead, talk to Bolson again. Uh, what do we want? We can do gear installations. Uh, those are gonna be weapon, bow, and shield mounts on the walls. Otherwise, installations, uh, we can get a bed, lighting, and a door. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, we'll start taking care of everything else. You saw the other stuff that we had available before. So, uh, we'll give it a couple minutes, uh, buy everything that we can, and then we'll check back in a moment. Okay, so I believe we are on the last construction item here. Uh, yep, house exterior and it's plant trees now. We're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, we have basically the bare minimum amount of money to complete this with only a tiny bit left over. Only 116. Uh, so yeah. Uh, something's gonna happen once we buy all the stuff to make the house. So, uh, Bolson, what do you gotta say? Any nail could fail, so don't let your hammer stammer. Okay, dude. And there we go, we got some trees now. Kind of nice, just a cosmetic feature. But, practically perfect. Oh, just about. Ah! You housing monster! You got everything? Such is the way of youth. Driven, even reckless, some might say. Well, since you bought everything, I threw in some free furniture. Yeah, at least I could do. Carson, look lively. Ah! I'm with you. That's our little reward. We get some extra free cosmetics for buying everything in the house. Well, I am tuckered. I can swing a ball peen hammer right now, let alone an axe. Break time, baby. Hylian homeowner, it's done. So let's go ahead and do a bit of a tour of the place. So, uh, go ahead, wander around here. 
you can actually leave a horse in here, I believe. Um, so you've got like your own personal little stable, but at the same time, every time you go and uh, take your horse out of the stable, any ones that are out will automatically be boarded. So yeah. I do wish this served as like a real stable where you could just kind of approach it, a dialogue box would appear and it would be like, what horse do you want to summon? And you would just do it that way. That'd be really cool. Um, you've got a little pond back here. There's no fish, unfortunately. Uh, an apple tree. I walked around and harvested all the apples a minute ago. Um, see, so yeah, the outside is pretty nice. Pretty nice. I really love the style of this house. Uh, but let's go ahead and check out the real deal. Welcome in. We've got all these racks here that we can store gear on. Got our own little like kitchen net, uh, bookshelf, all that. Uh, and then right up here, you see, there's even a couple pictures, a link, of stuff just kind of all throughout the village and the world. Uh, there's a little table with a writing desk on it. Uh, this, cool enough. If that flower looks familiar, it's one of the Korok flowers. It's kind of cool. And we have our own bed that we can go ahead and rest in, kind of like a free in whenever we want. Pretty nice. Pretty nice, I gotta say. And I mean, you saw outside we have a cooking pot as well. Uh, unfortunately, we don't get any benefits from sleeping in our own bed. Uh, that would be kind of nice, but alas. Uh, so I figure what we're going to do is just as like a bit of a temporary thing to kind of fill the place. We'll drop off some of our weapons here. Uh, as far as shields go, we'll leave the Lionel one because it's kind of fancy. Uh, I'm not too worried about leaving too much gear behind here because... Honestly, when it comes to, like, the knight's bows, for example, we have so many of them. Uh, but yeah, we're going to find way more gear on the road, so not to worry at all. But yeah, uh, with that, we've got a pretty well-stocked house at the moment. Oh, that's right. I actually want to leave Rivali's bow here, the Great Eagle bow. Uh, I think that would be a bit of a better place for it. We will use it in fighting and all that, but I want to save it for a little while. Uh, I'd rather not have to rebuild it so soon after getting it. Ah, uh, but yeah, it's a nice little home. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead, dip on outside a minute. It is raining again this morning. It's been really rainy the past couple episodes now that I think about it. Um, so, what do we got to do now? Well, well, well. I've got only two things left in the agenda for today's episode. So number one is going to be... Well, actually, no. I have three things on the menu. But they're all very quick. So. Uh, number one, we're going to go back into Prusa's store. Hi, Ivy. Uh, because... Yeah, hey, buddy. Uh, I want to sell a couple more things. And the reason why is I want to finally buy all that knight armor that we've kind of been passing up for a little bit. Um, do I? Yeah. Honestly, you know what? Let's sell both. <laughs> I don't mind selling them both at all. I want to have the money to buy things, so let's go. Alright, we can finally pick up the knight armor. Hi Sophie, um, yeah, again, it's gonna be kind of weaker right now, but once we have it all and upgrade it to our level, oh, it's gonna be good. There we go. Not bad. In fact, uh, we now have a second page of inventory. And listen, that looks kind of sweet. Not gonna lie. Now defensively, it's not that good at all. Until we upgrade. Uh, but that'll be a little bit later on. So now, 
now that we've done that, finally gotten that checked off the to-do list. Um, what's next on the menu? Well, well, we're gonna be heading... I think, is it right up here? No, it's this way. Mumble, oh, you're still doing things, huh, buddy? Okay, somewhere around here, there's a little goddess statue. I can't remember where. Ah, yes, here you are. So, let's go ahead and get another heart container. I'm telling you, these are all really quick things, right? So, let's see, that puts us at, I believe, nine hearts now, yeah. Quite good, quite good. Oop, oop. Let's see. Um, now, the last thing is we're going to be making one last stop at Pura's Laboratory. Uh, reason why, uh, I guess we can get more explicit now. I think I mentioned it before, maybe, but we have upgrades that we can get to the Sheikah Slate. Uh, that's why we need all these ancient parts that we've been collecting for a while. Uh, there are other uses, again, some of them can be very, very valuable for selling, but the big one right now is going to be these slate upgrades, and I'm telling you, they are amazing. Okay, so our long, long journey to go all around the world again is finally at an end. Let's enter the Hateno Ancient Tech Lab. Pura, good morning. Something on your mind? Uh, something good? Aha! I'm glad you asked. If you bring me some ancient materials, I will power up your runes. Three ancient screws for the sensor, three ancient shafts for the remote bombs, and three ancient cores for stasis. Alright, Pura. Let's go. We got ancient materials. So... We're game. Uh, let's go ahead and power up the Sheikah sensor right now. Um, we'll talk about how they change in a minute. So, we'll give a good snap this time. There we are. Alright, and the Sheikah sensor upgrade is going to be starting now. So, I don't know if the game is going to tell us what it does. I, I think it probably will. I know we kind of skipped that dialogue option. Um... What the sensor upgrade will do is it'll allow us to target other things than shrines. So if you want to do a Shiga sensor for like Endura carrots or whatever, you can just take a picture of them in the compendium, target it that way, and now the sensor will go off if you're going after Endura carrots. Yep. Things you own other than shrines. So, that's actually quite useful. I don't know if I'll be using it, but it's still kind of good. <laughs> Yahoo.com. Alright, Yahoo. Your godson did the trick indeed. Oh, the sensor plus. I really want to see it. Yes, quite. If you don't mind, how about showing Simon that spiffy Sheikah Sensor Plus later? Hmm. Alright. We got more materials. Uh, let's go ahead and get the remote bomb. I'm sure you can guess what this is powerful. Uh, well, what this powerful upgrade is gonna do. Ah, uh, but yeah, it's gonna be damage and recharge time, I believe. Now, you're still not gonna win any fights with it. I mean, I guess you could, but any little bit helps, right? So, we download the enhancement, and what do we get in return? Why am I saying that? I just went over what it is that we get. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Yep, Remote Bomb Plus. Mm -hmm. Stronger Blast and they recharge faster. Pretty good. Pretty good. <laughs> wow. 
And as for the last one, let's go ahead, turn in some materials, and upgrade stasis. This is the real powerhouse here. So, what is stasis plus going to do? Well, what do you think it's going to do? It's going to be really good, I can tell you that. Like, this makes stasis the most useful rune in the game. Hands down. Let's go ahead and enhance it. I'm sure you can guess, but it's a good one. There it is. Finally, after all this time, we can use stasis on enemies. That's really cool. Hmm? What's this? Perhaps you already went and power them all up? Well, I suppose with your Sheikah Slate and the legendary swordsmanship you had, you've got nothing to fear. Yes, quite. Nothing at all. Not even Calamity Ganon. There we go. Stasis Plus will now target monsters. Uh, how it works is, unfortunately, it doesn't build up kinetic energy on them, but it will freeze them in place so you can stack a bunch of hits on them. Pretty nice. Anyway, I'll talk with Simon later on. Um, admittedly, I don't feel like doing it now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's going to be all for this episode. Finally, we are done backtracking. And what are we going to do next time? Well, next time, we're actually going to follow the path uh, right down here to Hateno Bay. And then see if we can't find a boat. If we can, we're going to take the waterways all the way up into the Akala region. However, if that doesn't work, then I'm going to be really sad. Alright, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Have a good one.